Hi guys, this is my fifth attempt. Let's do this, shall we? Okay, today we are talking about illegal wildlife trade, and this is a big deal. Believe it or not, it's a huge deal. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, the illegal wildlife trade um, is a huge money maker. It takes in around seven billion to twenty-three billion dollars a year. It is number four as far as um, crimes go committed in the world. It is up there with drugs, human trafficking, and the arms trade, illegal arms trade. It's a crime that will bring species to extinction. The United States State Department says that between 2 million to 5 million birds are traded illegally each year. 12 million wild animals were poached every year. In a report to the United Nations, between the years 2014 to 2018, Penguin scales, the seizure of penguin scales increased tenfold. Um, it's pretty sad. In 2017, there were 20,762 seizures of wildlife and wildlife products. And as you can see, um, there can be some pretty unusual things that pop up. Hence the picture. In 2019 to 2013, this, um, these different seizures amounted to the following. 5.5% of the seizured items were rhino, 4.3% were reptiles, and 40 or 4.0% were penguin or penguin products. These numbers come from the UN doc worldwide database and if you look at the same sort of data for 2014 to 2018 you you would see that rhino has jumped to 11.8 percent penguins to 13.9 percent elephants actually saw a drop from 33.1 percent to 30.6 percent Talking about elephants, the loss of one elephant is a loss of about $16 million over its lifetime in tourist dollars. Poachers have killed more than 1,000 rangers um, whilst trying to evade capture while the rangers were on duty, doing what they're supposed to do. Around 27,000 rhinos may remain in Africa today. This does not include the rhinos in Asia. While these numbers are scary, there are reasons to smile. Every single seizure of animal products or animals keeps them from entering the market, which is good. Sadly, wildlife trafficking isn't just about the species, the numbers, it's about the impact. Well, it is. I mean, it is about those things, don't get me wrong. It's also about animal-borne illnesses spreading to humans. And you'll notice in some of the pictures um, that hopefully I figure out a way to post them, you'll see that... Um, some of the items are meat, um, some of it is monkey. It is thought that things like Ebola, HIV, potentially other diseases come from bush meat, which is in a form which is a form of wildlife trade. And a way that animal-borne illnesses can spread. We are also 
poaching fish. And we don't think about this. I'm not talking about how you cook fish, but um, sturgeons are poached, taken for their meat and also for caviar. Now, there have been some good things that have happened. In 2019, a guy was arrested for having 1,600 kilograms of sea cucumber, which was valued at $250,000. In the Republic of the Congo, one operation led to the arrest of around 460 people, the destruction of around 390 hunting camps, the removal of 18,701 snares. This is one of many successes for conservation. But if we truly want to end the illegal animal trade, we need to cut the demand for wildlife and wildlife products. And the best way to do that is education, flat out. That's how we're going to end it. So, with that, I will talk to you peeps later. Like I said, this is a long video. I apologize. If you learned something from it, give it a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in my next video.